these are the materials that i'll be using for my booboo -boo dress first off is this really nice print silk fabric that i got from the market it's really nice that's what i'm going to be using and then my writing materials my pencil eraser markers paper scissors fabric scissors tape measure pins semi pattern master and my my ruler of course and pattern paper and then i'll be using the pattern that i made from the shape dress to make my pattern work very much faster and easier so i'm going to start off by tracing out my shape dress pattern on the new set of pattern paper you will notice that the pattern paper has been folded not exactly the same way the first part is shorter than the second part and that's because the first part is where we're going to be having our sleeve and the second part is going to be our booboo -boo. so I'm going to just trace out this part that is going to have the sleeve My booboo -boo neckline is not going to be as deep as the shape dress. I'm just going to make a very modest booboo -boo neckline. It's going to be 4 inches deep. That's the most I'm going to be using. 4 inches deep and 4 inches wide. So using my cuff, I'm going to trace out the neck, the new neckline. All I'm doing right now is marking where my allowances are so that I know exactly where my original pattern is and where my allowances come in. So next I'm going to be extending the length of my side seam. I'm not going to be using the length of the shape dress of course but I'm just going to extend it to my full dress length which is 58 inches and I'll just be using the full length of the fabric which is about 60 inches and then with sewing and folding of my hemline is going to be about 58 inches now for my shoulder i'm just going to slant it just a little bit before cutting out the excess from the side with the sleeve Now for the booboo -boo side of my dress, I had to add a little bit more paper on that side because it wasn't long enough. So I added a little bit more paper and I just slanted it a bit more again on the shoulder side. Okay, I'm slanting the side of the dress again because I wanted to have this little drip effect. I don't want it to just be straight down. What I'm marking right now is the opening for my hand to pass through the booboo -boo side. I just made it 4.5 inches so that I can be able to pass my hand through it. So this is what my booboo -boo pattern looks like. Next is to cut out the fabric. With silk fabrics, you have to actually take your time to stretch out the fabric because it has a way of moving all over the place so you have to take your time to do that just be patient don't be in a hurry okay so this is my pattern i'm gently placing it on the fabric i'm going to take as much time as possible to cut this out gently because i'm not using pins as that would just scatter everything for me so i'm going to just take my time and cut the fabric out as you can see, I'm using the same pattern to cut both front and back. This will mean that I can wear my dress whichever way that I want. I'm pinning the shoulders because that's the first place I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to start by using my sleeve pattern from my shape dress. My sleeve length will be 23 inches. So I'm just going to trace out this top part of the sleeve and then I will extend the sleeve to my desired length I'm also going to be tracing out my bicep line so that I can use it as a guideline my desired sleeve length is 23 inches so I'll be marking that point from the top of my sleeve I'll also be using my bicep line as a guideline 
to be able to get a straight line for my sleeve hem. For my wrist, I'll be dividing my wrist circumference of 9 inches by 2 to get 4.5 and then I'll add 1 inch sewing allowance before connecting that point to my bicep line to get my sleeve seam. Now I'll be adding 2 inches to my sleeve hemline so that when I fold it, I'll be able to have a neat finish. I'm folding the paper this way to ensure that by the time I cut my pattern out, I'm going to have an aligned seam. The reason why I'm doing everything on the pattern paper is so I have a smooth cutting process on the fabric. And now my pattern is complete. I'm just going to write a reminder on it so that I know that I'm cutting just one piece and I'm cutting it on a fold. So I folded my fabric and using my weights, I'm going to hold my pattern paper on the fabric as I cut. This will ensure that my pattern paper doesn't move around while I cut. I'm placing back the pattern on the sleeve so that I can notch the fold on the hemline. This will make it easier for me when I come to sew. And this is what my sleeve looks like. 